I'm now pleased to invite Jadeep Thule, class valedictorian, to come forward and address the graduates. A brief biography of Jadeep is included in your convocation program. Jadeep, as valedictorian, is recipient of a John and Heather Fitzpatrick Valedictorian Award. When I was a kid, I always loved looking at the stars. And after growing up, I missed looking at them. On the 18th of October, when I walked into my classroom, Atrium 216, I realized that stars do not only exist in the sky. And today, I have realized that stars do not only exist in the sky or in the atrium to one six. Because I can see them in front of my eyes in this McNally Main Auditorium. And this day, this day is a testament to the hard work and dedication of all the star makers who are our teachers, professors, parents, friends, and family members, who polished us to make us shine brighter. So please give a huge round of applause to all the star makers. <laughs> My warm greetings to everyone. President Robert Somerby Murray, Chancellor Michael Durland, faculty, parents, guests, and my fellow graduates. As I begin, don't listen to me as a valedictorian today. Listen to me as you are listening to your brother, as your friend. Listen to me as someone who is a part of your family. Because what I'm going to say today is nothing special. I'm not going to tell you anything that you don't already know. But there is one thing that cannot be ignored. That is the feeling of this very moment. Yes. The feeling of this moment is beautifully inexplicable. Because right now, when we are graduating, there are millions of people on this planet who are trying, who are struggling, who are fighting to get educated. But the circumstances of their lives are not allowing them to do so, are not allowing them to embrace the beauty of education that we fortunate people have embraced. In the present times where we are obsequious towards the life on the web, where we have a six inch screen to criticize the world, where we have a screen to get influenced by the pseudo narrative of social media, where we have a screen to select or reject people by swiping our fingertips. Friends, we need to understand the inner sensitivities of human nature and we have to build a screen. We have to build a screen to spread brotherhood, compassion, and love in the world out there. Educational institutes like St. Mary's University do not just provide us with the education, but also boost our ability and skill set to build that one screen of love within our hearts, enabling us to understand the childlike innocence of human existence. This day, India flows in my veins and I carry this whole world in my heart. People of my country have taught me that this whole world 
is a family. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful to Canada. I'm thankful to St. Mary's University for giving me such a beautiful chance to feel that thought. This day may be important for you or may not be. But what is important is what you are going to take away from this day. Likewise, the education you got here may be important for you or may not be. But what is important is how you are going to practice it. This day is not just about getting felicitated. Rather, it is about making a promise to honor these degrees one day. So I urge you, I request you to touch the ground, touch the soil of this university and feel it. Feel it in your hearts, feel it in your minds and imprint the thought. Imprint this motto on your hearts for the rest of your lives, Age Code Agis. Do what you do. And this younger brother of yours, Jadeep, is telling you to do it. Do it with all your heart. Do it with all the dedication that you have. Do it in the way that you are doing it for the first and the last time. Maybe you'll never get the chance to do that thing again. Whether it is about applying for a job that you wanted from a very long time. Whether it is about starting a new business, a new YouTube channel whether it is about having a trip, whether it is about asking the girl that you wanted to date out, whether it is about forgiving someone and talking to them again. Do it today after this graduation ceremony because that is something we have learned through the value of acceptance. By accepting diversity and getting ourselves accepted. I see diversity as a bouquet of flowers in terms of Dr. N's multicolored or multicultural flowers. Diverse stories have provided us all a wonderful chance to understand, accept, acknowledge, and appreciate the ideas, thoughts, minds, and ways of life of the people around us, ultimately providing us with the eyes through which we can see how beautiful the people and the world around us is. Once I got a chance to recite a poem in a prison in Kurukshetra, India. No, no, I was not a prisoner. I was invited. And after that event, a prisoner, a guy, must be 21, 22 years old, he came close to me and gave me a strong hug. While murmuring in my ears, he said, I was on the wrong track and I'll do the right thing from now on. There, I realized the importance of words and emotions. I did my international master's in teaching English degree here, and I have learned to teach. I've realized that every lesson, every classroom is like a painting. Just like Picasso drew several lines on a canvas and was unaware of how beautiful it is going to be at the end. In the same way, our lives are a collection of some lines on a canvas. And you have to trust me on this, that every painting is beautiful in its own way. If you have some scratches or abrupt lines on your canvas, don't worry. Nature will see the childlike innocence in it and will kiss it, just like a mother kisses the forehead of her child. If your painting is perfect, go out and be brave to try new colors because perfection is nothing, just futile. No matter how busy you were in running around to get things done to, while going on this tough ride on this campus, if you'll see through the supreme nature, then you'll realize this truth, the truth that you you will be missed. You'll be missed by the memories you have created on this campus. The air of this campus will miss you. The sea store, the Tim Hortons, the Starbucks in the atrium will miss the touch of your lips on their coffee cups. 
<laughs> the chairs, the chairs, the tables will miss the touch of your fingertips. Your presence will be missed. Finally, this one world, this one university is all yours. So I wish all of us a very good luck in finding, creating, and building that one screen to fill this one world with the feeling of one word, love. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, J.D. You exemplify why we are so incredibly proud of all our graduates.